And welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy. Tonight, we're going for a cruise in the old Mopar. But first, we've got to get Junior's car out of the way, and it's locked, and he's not here. Dang it, Bobby. So we're gonna wait for Junior to get here, and then we're gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna take your spare set and leave them in the house, because that's where they belong. Braden. Junior. Hey. So I'm home on camera now, so that means I can do a great big field on the road? No. No. Kill off. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. If he ever gets a hold of a car like that. <laughs> Guys, one of the reasons why I wanted to go for a little drive tonight was because, well, twofold. One, I wanted to get the car out because I haven't been able to drive it much since it's been raining. And two, I wanted an ice cream and rather than pay money to buy ice cream, we had some down at the camper. So we took a drive about, uh, I don't know how far is the camper away from home, about 20 miles, 18 miles or so. And uh, on the way down here, I noticed a car for sale on the side of the road. So I didn't say anything to my wife, but little does she know, we're gonna stop and take a look at this car. And I wanna know what you guys think, if it's something that we should buy for the channel, or if it's something we should pass on. So we're just about on it, let's take a look. think guys should I buy a panther platform a little grand marquee yes oh no baby it does have winter tires on it a little bit of paint peeling right there I'm sure that'll buff right out <laughs> the interior is in good shape it's a 2004 it's an LS model bench seat in the front looks like it's got a tire in the back maybe there's Ooh, it's I can almost see that it looks like it might have aluminum rims on it too. So there might be aluminum rims that come with this too. It's licensed till August. Pretty straight car. It was rust checked in 2015. And I'd be interested in knowing how many miles are on it. Oh, there it is. 203,000 kilometers. Which is roughly about 130,000 miles. Yeah, same thing down here on this side. feel okay on the inside there it's a grandpa mobile and it's grandpa color it's just plastic cover rocker panels feel good I'm not really sure where these things rust so if you guys in the comment section know what I should be looking for drop a comment down below now this being a 2004, I can only guess that it will need to be a 4.6, which I'm okay with because those 4.6s were tough engines. Satellite radio. I 
And I never was a big fan of the Mercury model. I always liked the Ford Crowns a lot better. But Nevertheless, I'm going to get the phone number off this and give the guy a call and see what kind of information he can give me on it. Hi there, I'm calling about the uh, Grand Marquis that's for sale in Bayside. I uh, just wanted to know what the price tag you had on it. A million dollars? Because it's still under warranty. And uh, I, I also noticed that it's been inspector, uh, sorry, uh, rust checked back in 2015. Was that the only time that it was done? Or? And uh, what, what can you tell me about like the service history and stuff like that? I'd like to discuss the purchase of Carfax. All right, and are you around this weekend? Like, would it be possible to come take it for a drive this weekend, maybe? What I'll do is, uh, is I'll give you a shout on, uh, on Sunday then. And if the car is still available, maybe we'll come take it for a drive. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <sighs> <laughs> oh, just a little bit. Trauma of course, you guys only heard one side of the conversation, and uh, I'll edit that out so you guys don't have to listen to a bunch of dead air. But basically, the idea is, is the car has been rust checked its whole life, except for the last two years. It's got two hundred and three thousand kilometers. She's asking three grand for it, and right off the bat, I asked her if the price was negotiable, and just like the snap of a finger, she came down to twenty five hundred bucks. So that tells me coming from a salesman's point of view but there's still room to negotiate there i think if i could get this thing bought for two grand i think it would be a good deal it looks like it's in great shape there are four wheels and tires aluminums uh, that come with it uh, one of them was in the back like like i suspected and obviously the winter tires that are on it are still in really good shape so what do you guys think should i make an offer on this thing we're going to come back on, uh, on the weekend when we're down here and take it for a drive and see just how good it works and see if there's a little bit more negotiating we can do on this car. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Should we buy a Panther platform Ford or should we just walk away and find something different? Well guys, if that is a drive, well, we've had it. Uh, got my belly full of ice cream. We took a look at that uh, 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis with 203,000 kilometers on it. We're gonna see if we can take it for a drive and work out some kind of a deal. That's gonna be it for this short little video, guys. If you notice over my right shoulder, you'll see some license plates up on the wall. I'm still trying to collect some, and I'm asking you guys, my viewers, if you have any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. My addresses are down in the comment section down below. Please send them off and I'll make sure that I shout your name out on my video. There are several links in the description box below where you guys can support me in other ways other than watching these videos. Number five is Sussex Beard Oil. Sussex Beard Oil has jumped on board to sponsor this beard for this guy and you can reach them right here at sussexbeard.com and if you enter in promo code GloveBox you can get yourself a, pr a free travel size beard oil with the purchase of a regular size beard oil. You can mix and match any flavor, help yourself. Please go over there and support them. In turn, they are supporting me. Guys, once again, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you again real soon, where we are going to be doing the lift kit and big tires on the shop truck. So stay tuned. Yeah.